My name's Graham Leishman. I work for Bibby Offshore, and I'm the ROV personnel manager. ROVs are being used in the subsea sector, remotely operated vehicles to give it the full term, are used as the term uh, dictates remotely from uh, controlled from a vessel, sending the vehicle down into uh, deeper water to allow work to be carried out in, in deep, deeper parts of the, 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 the sea that uh, divers can't reach really. Basically like a little robot that can go uh, under the water, operated from the surface uh, via uh, a cable and uh, various other electronics and hydraulics. My job as a ROVE personnel resource manager is to select the appropriate people, the proper people for the, uh, the crews offshore on the vessels, recruiting personnel as well to, uh, to come into the, the industry, uh, getting, the, getting the, uh, the correct candidates, the appropriate qualifications and uh, experience. But to be an ROV pilot technician, the basic qualifications are either electronics, electrical background or mechanical, hydraulics background is the ideal uh, personnel that we look for. To obtain them qualifications, obviously, from high school going forwards to uh, college, university. Uh, personally, my own route into the, the industry was via the military. I was in the, uh, the Air Force previously as an aircraft electrical engineer. The main skill involved in our remotely operated vehicle operations is the ability to be spatially aware. Uh, as you're working from two-dimensional views uh, in the control van or the control cabin on the vessel, you know you can't you can't actually see uh, what's around you in a 360-degree aspect. Although you have cameras to the rear uh, to check out what's going on behind you, the main cameras are forward-looking at the time or most of the time. Although they can be swung left, right, up, and down, but all in all, the, the, the bigger picture has to be gained in the, the operator's head, really. Usually, the guys work in teams of, of three for a 12-hour for a shift. This would be doubled up to, to six guys on a 24 operation. Uh, you have a, a supervisor in charge of both shifts, and the other two guys will be either senior technicians or senior pilot technicians. Like I say, working a 12-hour day, usually six in the morning to six at night, depending on the work scopes, they'll determine what, uh, what your day is going to be like. Uh, coming in as a trainee, you may, uh, you may spend six months to a year in that grade and then progressing up the, the, the ROV grade ladder to pilot technician, senior technician. Okay, working in the subsea sector, particularly as an ROV uh, pilot technician offshore, the, I mean, the, the salary and benefits packages are very attractive. You're looking for uh, an experienced ROV pilot, probably a salary range of uh, 40 to 50,000 pounds per year. Well, I came into the uh, the industry 15, 16 years ago as a, a young trainee pilot technician uh, purely because uh, the skills I had and probably my character uh, enabled me to kind of progress up the career ladder quite quickly. But the biggest thing for me was uh, the time off. The four weeks off at the end of the four week trip was always the, the bonus for me. The salary and the pay, yeah great, it kept me in, uh, in nice flashy cars. Uh, I was able to take my family on nice holidays and treat them well. Um, but at the end of the day, the guys I was working with, um, the people I've had the, the good fortune to work with in the past, fantastic. 